Alright, so what's up fellow YouTubers? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to go about using cinematic black bars in your uh, cinematic, your clip, your movie, whatever it is for Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017. Alright, so let's go ahead and get right into this. So, I already have a clip that I want. This right here. I'm going to go ahead and add this in. Um, actually, before I do anything, I'm going to go to Preferences. Uh, let's see, media cache, and then clean unused. Alright, I always like to do that before I do anything because I just don't trust my computer speed. <laughs> um, so the first thing, uh, I'm just going to go and unlink it, uh, and then delete the audio. I don't need audio for this uh, tutorial. So I'm going to just go and figure out where I want the clip to start. I have to start right about there, uh, and then I'll just have it go to the very end. I'll just have it go to the very end of the clip. Yeah. All right. So the next thing you want to do is go down to the media pool. Right underneath it, um, it'll say new item. It's going to be right next to the trash can. Go ahead and click on that. Adjustment layer. Adjustment layer is what you want. Go ahead and click on that. Uh, go ahead and click OK. You don't need to fool with this. Alright, the next thing you need to do is go ahead and hit effects. Um, oh wait, sorry, before that, go ahead and drag the uh, adjustment layer right over top of the clip. Alright, just like so, just so that they match. Uh, go ahead and click on adjustment layer. Um, type crop in on the search bar under the effects tab. Uh, go ahead and drag it over the adjustment layer, just like so. And then from there, have it selected, have the adjustment layer selected. And I believe effect controls is already open. So just go ahead and go down to crop, this right here. And the the two that you want to um the two that you want to fool around with is the top and bottom. So what I usually do is either 10% or 15. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do 15%, so top 15, enter, and as you can see, just like so, same thing with the bottom, 15, boom, just like that, and actually let's just go ahead and play this, see how it looks. Alright guys, that was super, super easy. Um, that's pretty much all. Uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, you know, just have the clip that you want. Uh, do a new adjustment layer, um, and then from there go to crop, and then drag the crop onto the adjustment layer, and then you want to go down to crop on effect controls. It should be the very last one, and then the top and bottom. Like I said before, you can do 10% or 15% for both the top and bottom. In my opinion, I think the thicker the bars, the more intense your movie or scene or cinematic is or whatever it is. But I just went ahead and rendered it uh, just to show you guys how it looks without it glitching or lagging or whatever you want to call it. So that looks really good. That looks really good. Um, just to show you guys what the... 10% uh, looks like it's okay. I mean, I think it's too thin to be honest. But this is just what it looks like, and it's gonna be laggy again since I just changed it. 10% eh, alright. I think I like 15. But guys, that's pretty much how you go about doing it. <coughs> it's super duper easy. Um, and if you're gonna make a cinematic, just a few tips. Not only should you have the cinematic black bars, but um, you also want to do color grading. Um, you also want to have really good um, background noise, background sounds, sound effects, and then you want to have slow motion as well, or just like really smooth. Uh, what depending on your camera, um, really smooth uh, frames per second. 120 frames per second is the best in my opinion, like the butteriest, smoothest slow motion FPS, whatever. Um, 60 per frame, for 60 frames per second is good as well. 30 frames, eh? I'd 
probably steer away from 30 frames. But guys, that's how you go about doing that. Uh, without me rambling too much, super easy, guys. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below and let me know what you guys thought about this video as well. And as always, subscribe to my channel if you're new. Bye, guys.